The spider monkey is a favorite for the Belize Zoo visitors, but did you know that the physical characteristics that these monkeys use to entertain you are there to help them to survive in their environment? In the wild, they would spend most of their time in trees, but in a management pen, like here at the Belize Zoo, they also sit and scamper around on the ground frequently. Today, Jamal Andrew and Bone, the Education Director of the Belize Zoo, will teach us about special behavioral and physical characteristics that play a critical role in the survival of this primate. This is a very, another very well adapted, very specialized uh, mammal that we have in Belize. And obviously their, their speciality is thriving in the canopies of our forest, right? So it's very unusual to see spider monkeys on the ground. They're, they're like this because we're in a zoo or in a closed exhibit where they know there's no predators on the ground waiting for them. Um, so this is typically behavior that you wouldn't see in the wild. They're much more capable and, and it's much more easy for them to escape any kind of threat up in the trees, right? A spider monkey's tail and long limbs are two of the physical features that help them to adapt. They have a lack of thumbs, for example. So unlike us, they only have four thumbs, uh, sorry, four fingers. And so that kind of helps with their, what you call brachiation, it's their, uh, their mobility in the trees when they're moving through. So thumbs don't get in the way, basically. And they're able to swing with ease from tree to tree. And obviously a lot of people know that they're famous for their tail as well. They like to call it like a fifth limb. So much like the tapir has a prehensile or a grasping snout, these guys have a grasping tail. So they can literally support their whole bodies just from their tail. And that's why you notice near the very tip of it, there's a patch that doesn't have any hair. It's just very rough, thick skin. So that's where it can, it can grip without slipping and really give them that support that they need. These monkeys are naturally active and engaging. They're also more comfortable around humans here at the zoo than they are in the wild. So in the wild, spider monkeys do defend their territories. They would, they hoot and they don't howl like their cousins, but they tend to rock the trees, throw branches. They do urinate or defecate on the trees if they feel like something's threatening. So the fact that we're not getting a, a hostile welcome is, is an indication that they've become accustomed to people. They've um, become trusting because of all the, the um, direct interactions and care that they receive from the zookeepers, right? The spider monkey is endangered in Belize. Their curiosity and intelligence make them a target for the illegal pet trade. The loss or disturbance of their habitat is also a problem that affects the species. These monkeys don't thrive well when they are alone. They do better living together in communal or family groups, which is also another feature of their adaptation. They're highly social animals. This is one of the reasons they've survived well, much like um, parrots, macaws. Being in a, in a social group has many advantages for finding food, for defense and so on. So one isolated little monkey doesn't thrive well on its own in a, in a confined environment. So all those adaptations mean nothing if they're not able to maximize them in, in their exhibit, in their natural habitat, right? And to help keep these animals happy and safe, the exhibit for these spider monkeys mimic their natural environment with tall green trees, as well as provide a space to accommodate their other behaviors and habits. As Jamal Andrin Bowen explains, these animals add a special charm to the Belize Zoo. Without fail, I would say this is, the spider monkeys is one of the exhibits that people spend the most time at. And this is after years of observing, you know, little inter if, if you were to follow someone around at a stopwatch and see, all right, they spend a few minutes at the tapir, at the jaguar, but people actually sit, photograph, comment on, and really interact with the spider monkeys because they give a lot of that interaction back without even the, the positive reinforcement of food, right? So they, they, people tend to develop a lot of empathy for these animals when they get that level of interaction. So it's really valuable that we have that ability at the zoo to kind of enhance that empathy and learning. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.